Hi guys, this is Jonathan, the Disney and Tom and Jerry fan 2020 here, and today I'm gonna do my top three least anticipated movies of this year. Movies I'm not really excited for, or I just think they look terrible, stupid, or just unnecessary in my opinion. And the ones that I think will suck and suck in my opinion. Remember, these are all my opinions. And if you're looking forward to any of them, I respect your opinion once again. You know that. <clears throat> yeah, if you're looking forward to any of these films I put in there, I respect you I respect your opinion. As long as you as long as you respect mine maturely. So let's get this started, shall we? Number three, I choose Antlers. The reason why I'm not looking forward to this movie is, for one thing, I'm not I'm not a fan of horror films, in my opinion. I always find them to be too disturbing for me, especially when it comes to deaths in horror films. They're just really gruesome to watch, and it's ho and it's really horrible to watch, in my opinion. And I can tell this movie's not gonna be good. And plus, <clears throat> it doesn't even interest me that much either. Yeah, it really, it also doesn't interest me on either. <clears throat> and due to the looks for this film, I could tell it's not going to be good. It's, I could tell it's, it's going to be cheesy and boring and and just, just, <clears throat> it's just going to be a cheesy and boring film. And it's not a one of those <clears throat> horror films that I'm lo not looking forward to. I'm not including Gretel and Hansel because that came out already. There are lots of horror films that I put. For my least favorite, for my least anticipated ones, but I'm not going to include that one. The New Mutants is one of them, but I'm not going to include that one. So I'm including Antlers. So yeah, Antlers, I could tell the plot is confusing and I could tell it's going to be very cheesy and boring. And it's... Script is just confusing and weird and doesn't make any sense. So yeah, if you're looking forward to this film, I was I respect your opinion. Oh yeah, and the title Antlers, that doesn't make any sense at all in my opinion. It really the title also doesn't make any sense in my opinion. So yeah, when it comes out on April, I'm not seeing it, in my opinion. So that's why Antlers is number three. Number two is My Spy. The reason why I'm not looking forward to this film is because the action packs are cheesy and the jokes aren't even funny, that funny. Actually, confusing. And the plot, I could tell it's awkward. And it, the time, the release date was supposed to come out in January, but it got pushed back to March, which comes out next month. That means and the script is dull. And what else? 
the characters are not even that interesting in the, in this film. None of the characters interest me. Um, either they're too uh, dull or bland or just. <clears throat> I just find them to be just dull, bland, and forgettable characters. Yeah. They're just forgettable. I don't remember the names from that film. That's how... Yeah. And it's sad, because I... Normally, I remember characters' names from movies and TV shows, but not on this. That's really sad, guys. Because I'm usually good at remembering the characters' names. E and yes, yes, I know, even though they're fictional characters. Yes, I know. But still, these characters are just forgettable. I mean, I don't remember a single character who's going to be likable or good. And the action pack sh scenes are disappointing as well. It doesn't really interest me either. It's just, it's going to be a dull and tasteless film in my opinion. So yeah, not looking forward to My Spy. And my number one least anticipated movie of this year is Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway. I think, in my opinion, this is going to be the worst film ever, in my opinion. The characters, I could tell they are, they are very immature. The plot doesn't make any sense. Um, the jokes aren't even funny at all. It's just too dopey. Or... Stupid. And the humor's just... Tasteless. I mean, this is the most unnecessary sequels ever... To be cr created, in my opinion. <clears throat> I don't know what was Sony thinking when they thought that this was going to be... A good sequel or thought it was going to be a good sequel but I but me I don't think it is I think it's gonna be horrible in my opinion it's gonna be tasteless dopey and horrible in my opinion and yes childish as well let's add childish yeah And yeah, this is also going to be one of the worst sequels ever, in my opinion. And the CGI looks in this film look, are so terrible. Look, look. Yeah. The CGI in this look are just hideous, in my opinion. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, who wants to see that sequel when it comes out? Apparently, some will, some some are, which I I respect their opinions if they are. But to me, I'm I'm not looking forward to it. I'm I think it I think it looks horrible. <clears throat> no, <clears throat> and no, I'm not. I'm not going to take it to the extreme, no. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion, okay? So, yeah. I think it's... I think it's the most unnecessary sequels from Sony. And... Yeah, I think it's... I think it's going to be bad, in my opinion. 
in yeah i'm not seeing that so yeah i'm not seeing that sequel when it comes out on april 3rd but if you are you know the drill <clears throat> but for me i'm not looking forward to i think it i think it's going to be bad and horrible and it's it's my number one least anticipated film of this year as well. And that's all I would like to say. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to me. And This is Jonathan, a Disney and Tom and Jerry fan 2020 here and I'll see you guys next time on my next video, and I'll see you guys later.